Renators and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Ayana Renee. So, <laughs> yes, my hair is out. This is my fro, honey, period, and she is beautiful. So today we are in my bathroom. My ring light is behind you guys, so that's what you're seeing reflecting off my glasses. So don't be alarmed. We doing the wig, y'all. We doing the wig. Now, okay, so, um, I'll pop some pictures up. So I did a good wig and saw for my 26th birthday. And I was determined, like, I was like, I'm gonna get this, you know, it's gonna be what it's supposed to be. And I was a blonde uh, wig. So today we got another wig. That hair, uh, the, today's video is going to be a different hair company. But before we get into the video, make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and check out all my videos um, before this on my channel. Um, make sure you comment down below, like if you like this look, if you tried this unit, if you're not into wigs, are you beginner, you know, intermediate, advanced, pro, like what are you? So the things you're gonna need is, I seen the girls, they use the, like little flat irons or curlers to do the baby hairs. Now I have a blow dryer, um, and I have this Red by Kiss Detangling Brush because this is not sponsored right now. Because I love this brush. I'm very much 4C, so this brush helps me detangle. I have um, this Garnier Fruity Style Flat Iron Perfection Straightening Mist. I don't know if I'm going to need this for anything, but I just got it out just in case. I have my um, Wax Stick 24 Hour Edge Tamer Hair Sleek Stick. It's by, um, who's this by Eben? This is the same brand I get my edge control through. I have this wig cap. I have my powder in the living room. I'll get it once we get close to that point. I'm just using these kitchen scissors that I got to cut the lace. I have my edge little brush and comb duo thing, trio thing. Um, I have a red tail comb as well that's super broken, missing a tooth, and this comes out, so it's broke. I have a razor. I have tweezers and I'm going to be using ghost bond glue as my adhesive and I have oh my white tooth comb because I gotta break my hair back so before we get started in braiding um so first let me get started in braiding I was about to show y'all the unit but I'm gonna first braid my hair so I don't know how I'm gonna braid it they're not gonna be small braids well I don't know maybe they will I might just show y'all a few of the braids and then um then I'm um I'm gonna have to take my glasses off because that's gonna bother me. I might just show y'all a few braids then I'll um come back on here once I have it fully braided and then show y'all the the unit so like i said i have very much so 4c here um
this is the one they give you in the packaging. This one looks a little bit more tanner, if you will. Um, yeah, so that's pretty nice. You get a wig cap. And this looks like a scarf. lace there's the part as you can see here I'll flip it so wig construction you have the adjustable straps um, and it looks like three combs the T part I guess is this but I do believe it says it's pre plucked I think yes it is pre plucked so for those that don't pluck here like myself um, you don't have to do any plugging I probably do a little bit but we'll see Y'all, I'm hoping this fits my head. I have a very large head, so I'm just gonna undo the straps. I don't need the straps at all. Like, I don't even need this to be, honestly, even like looped or nothing. This could like be the ultimate stretch because I'm gonna need all of it. Oh, and I got it in a texture body wave. So it's really, really pretty actually. I think it's really cute. So we're gonna go ahead and try this wig on. So as you guys can see, I got a little frustrated. So the god, not the god to be, I'm gonna so the ghost bond glue exploded. So that was fun for me. As you can see, I got a layer or two of the ghost bond glue on the cap, and now I'm cutting out my ears, struggling because I got big ears, and this is a small little cap. But we're making progress. I feel like I know what I'm doing. So that was the first layer. I'm now doing a second layer. Then I think I do a third layer. Then you guys will see me cut the cap. And then you'll see the rest. And that's when I start to lose my mind a little bit.
frustrated, annoyed, irritated, pissed off. I will make sure if I order from this company again, I read the description and hey my owners and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Diana Renee. I hope you guys are doing good. Um so this is a finished product of hair for the previous clips you'll see in this video. <laughs> I kind of felt defeated after putting it on, but I put it back on and I did a little beat and it looks all right. It, it's, it's okay. It's fine. Um, just make sure you read whenever you get hair from these hair companies. I don't know if I did something wrong, if I didn't do something right. I don't know, but this is what I got. Um, it is a tea wig, even though it did not say that in the description. Uh, I've seen a lot of women on YouTube that did review this wig said it did not say in the description. So that's how you don't know, but in case you run into the same thing I ran into, now you know. Um, I did not wash it. I just took it out of the box and I just tried to put it on my head. I don't know if that was good or bad. But it did come out the box and it looked really nice in a little net little um, wrapping they put it in. But then once I had it on my head and trying to fix it and try to get it situated and try to get it to pretty much fit in my head enough to wear it, um, it just started getting poofy and poofy and poofier. And I was just like so annoyed after a while. So then I spritzed it with water. There was nothing in the water bottle, just water. Spritzed it with water and then it kind of curled up and gave like a, a, a wet and wavy type of concept at first. But then when it started drying, it started getting so big. So then what I just did today was I just blow dried it as good as I could or as long as I felt like. Then I just tried to put, you know, some curls and they all fail because I don't have no. would like to place a nail order with me, especially as we go into Valentine's Day. Please message, email me. Um, if you have to inbox me on Instagram, that's fine. I no longer have Etsy shop, so don't look for it because it doesn't exist anymore. Um, you can DM me on Instagram or you can email me through my email. All that stuff is linked below. Um, but these are some of the, these are just nails I made. If you want to order, you can let me know. If you want a pair of these, you can let me know. They're random sizes. I did not write them down, so it would be up to you. But here's the, ooh, ooh, they're kind of all over in the box. But here's one. It's like a Valentine's Day heart at the tip with a red rhinestone. They're just all jumbled up because I just put them in this. This is just an eyelash container. I just made them and put them to the side. Then this is another one. This is with the XL, like 2X, 2XL squares. This is just a pink set. Then I did this one with stiletto nails. They're not taped in here, so that's why they're moving. And this wouldn't be the packaging you would get them in if you wanted them. I just made them, to be honest, to do something because I was bored. Uh, so this is the other nail set. I hope y'all can see that. That's one. And then the red ones is with coffin. You see? Really pretty. So yeah, I was just bored one day and I was just doing some nails. I'll probably do another red set and then that'll be it for Valentine's Day. I did mine too for Valentine's Day. These are not it. I had mine to the side. I can't see them. Um, but yeah, this is how I came out. I mean, it was it's a good it was a good experience um, for the most part. I learned a lot. Um, I just have to make sure I read the descriptions when I get wigs and stuff. Um, I don't know. I may go back to just getting the bundles and just making the wig myself, so I know for a fact it'll fit my head because I know I have a big head. And I normally make my wigs on dome caps, so I don't have to worry about an elastic band and clipping it and unclipping it and combs. These this wig has combs and I am so ready to yank them out. Um, I do not like w combs and wigs, me personally, but that's because my head's big, so I don't need a comb. I don't need the little drawstring. I don't need none of that because I got a big ass head. So there's never a wig that's so big that will fit me that I have to tighten it. So I don't have that issue. And I don't like the combs because they dig into my braids and I don't like that. Um, that's like the worst I feel like. That shit hurts, especially when you don't know the comb is hooked into your braid and you're like adjusting it and then it pulls it that's another inconvenience so i now know not to part wigs is not for me i need either a 13 by 4 or a 4 by 4, a 4 by 4 or 5 by 5 you know at least a closure or a closure wig or a frontal wig i feel like t part wigs aren't really my speed um I, I tried to get it as good as i could if it's bad please don't come for me in the comments <laughs> just like give advice on how to make it better because you know i'm i don't I'm not a hairstylist. I mean, I do my hair and I feel like I do okay, but I just be doing this, y'all, for fun. So, 
yeah that's pretty much it. i just want to come on here in the video a little bit better a little bit more nicer and not so like the roof because in the beginning of the video i was super excited super upbeat and super happy and super prepared super cheerful and then as towards the end i was just like what the f is this so i just wanted to end it up better on a better foot um but if you guys have any suggestions i'm low of who i should try for hair next let me know like i said i've only used unice before now um i think i'm lying actually i might have you i might have got beauty forever hair before but i think i lost that wig or that might have been unice i think i've only used unice i'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure I only use you nice hair. If I didn't, my bad. But I'm pretty sure I only use you nice hair. That's the only hair I use because I like affordable and I like cheap and I like affordable and cheap. So that's more my speed. Cause you know I don't I don't be just you know what I'm saying I be real life out here. Um. So yeah, if y'all have any um hair companies I think I should try that one a little bit. Your girl will know. Um. Ones that you think are worth me trying. Obviously, I don't want to try anything. Like honestly, y'all, I sometimes get. The little bundles from the beauty supply store and make wigs and wear them so there's no shame in my game as long as it don't get become like a mat or a nest i'm for the most part okay but yeah just comment down below some <coughs> uh care companies you suggest that i should check out maybe if you want to send me some free stuff let's go to i'll take that away um i hope you guys are doing okay staying warm i'm Pittsburgh. we got a snowstorm so i don't know that will be too thank you so much for watching my videos um keep in mind we're coming with that heat this year so stay tuned make sure you still turn on all your post notifications like share comment and subscribe and comment down below every video i don't care if you comment thank y'all for watching don't forget to like share comment subscribe share is a big goal okay big goal this year so we need to all work together as a team I'm be having some good stuff coming for y'all too, so don't just think it's just. That's how it is. Keep it in a Keep it in a I mean, it's that too, but it's a little bit. It's a lot more. I have a lot to offer you. A lot to offer you. Um. <laughs> I don't know why I'm just ranting, but yeah. Love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.